This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ford F-350 Crew Cab. It was a long bed. Now it's got a utility bed with a uh, uh, rollover gooseneck in the bed. Uh, it is a 6 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's a Lariat, which is leather. Um, single rear wheel, which is great. 174,000 mile truck. We purchased directly from a new car dealer in Southern California. This truck came to Tucson and we gave it an inspection. This is what it looks like. It's a super nice truck. Uh, it's only Achilles heel is it does have a seepy leak uh, from the lower valve covers. And the only way to deal with that is to basically take the motor out and do, and if you're doing that, you're gonna do the heads and everything and the motor's fine. There's nothing wrong with the motors. It's got a really light leak. Um, in fact, I will, go in the garage we put this thing in the garage on the 23rd because it was raining we didn't want it to get dirty before I did the video today today is the 27th and I'll show you what the there is the spot from it right there that is four days okay so basically what you need to do is put a pan underneath it and deal with it uh, it's a hell of a truck but it's definitely not worth spending that kind of money and labor um, to fix that leak if you don't like it, don't buy it. There's plenty of people out there who'll be just fine with it. Um, my job is to make sure that you uh, know what you're buying. So that's why we show you the warts and all. Other than that, the truck is fantastic. Um, I would imagine that the only reason they traded in was because of that leak. And they knew that it was a zillion dollars in labor and blah, blah, blah to fix it. So Google that lower valve cover leak in a 6.0 and you'll understand what's going on. Um, it has nothing to do with the performance of the truck. A drip pan and some oil in it once or twice a month, maybe. Not even that, maybe once a month. Doesn't leak that much. Uh, and you're fine uh, if this is the type of truck you need. Let's see. Anyway, we repaired a tear in the driver's seat. We uh, replaced the oil pressure switch. Uh, got a driver's side mirror. Replaced the rear brake pads. And the right mirror. The, both, both side mirrors were replaced and we repaired uh, both front seats, had tears in them. Uh, and we repaired a tear in the uh, center console. So we did some uh, interior repairs, oil pressure switch, a little brake work. Other than that, it's exactly as we got it. You'll see pictures of it before it left California, and it's this truck. It looks exactly the same. All right, I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna point stuff out if I see something that you can stare at in the uh, gallery of pictures. In that gallery, you'll see a little device, a little uh, magnifying glass deal you can drag over uh, if you want to look and uh, drag it over the spot you want to look at and it allows you to zoom in on that spot. It did have the uh, FX4 off-road suspension package because you have the uh, rancher suspension on the truck. I said that the point of these videos is to make sure that the person who buys this truck uh, knows it as well as we could possibly describe it. Obviously, we've just got toolboxes here. I'll open this guy up right here just to show you. They're all the boxes are the same. They're just like that. That box is the same. They're all the same thing. Just empty boxes. Lots of space to put tools or whatever. It's kind of cool that you have stakes on here. You can put the stake bed in here if you wanted to. I don't know if you could, yeah, you could probably fit some sort of metal deal in there to make them higher if you wanted, over the truck box. This is a cool truck. See, same thing. All right. All right, I'm going to fire this guy up. 174,161 miles.
All right, more information for you. Kelly Blue Book on the truck. Larry at Long Bed, 174,000 miles. Suggested retail price, $19,824, right? With the following equipment. There's the equipment. The equipment will be in the ad. No need to stop the video for this. You'll see it in the ad. There's the uh, VIN. There's the uh, date of the Carfax. No accident damage on this truck. Pretty boring little Carfax. Nothing really going on there. Anyway, that's that. Like I said, uh, one of our, our interior guys came in and put a heel pad in there. I can see this is new. First things first, you got a Ford stamp right, right there. That tells you that's the original fender. That's very good. Almost no blow by at all. That's excellent. Let's see, Ford stamp right there. Catalytic converter sticker where it belongs. Should be another Ford stamp right there, and should be another one right there. Alright? Ah, and I locked the doors. I locked myself out. Oh, gosh. I think I do that about half the time now. It sucks to get old. Alright, here's your. That's your driver rear window right there. That's your passenger rear window. Your front window. There you go. Heated seat off and on. Back, forward, down, up, rear tilt down and up, front tilt up, Oop, up. And down. Alright. Let's see. Driver window. Passenger window. Pass your rear window, driver rear window, door locks. There you go. Let's see. Mirrors out, in, up, down, other side out, in, up, and down. You can see, see back, see forward. Seat up, seat down, tilt up, and down, and the rear seat up and down. That's perfect. Power pedals up and down, tilt wheel, that works fine. Alright, let's hop in here. Seat belt on. Let's try it 
try the steering controls. Change the station. All right, stereo works. Let's see, radio, uh, uh, air conditioning. Steering controls. That's the fan down, fan up. Use the steering controls. Temperature up, temperature down. Use the steering controls. Everything works fine there. Rear slider. Open and close. Tow on and off. That's on. That's off. Let me move this thing forward here a little bit so I can test the four-wheel drive. All righty then. Let's see. Neutral. For low, now we're in for low, drive, and reverse, for low works fine, neutral, now we're going to go for high, drive, this is in for high, and reverse, boom, alright, perfect, two wheel drive, let's go for a ride, alright, this truck's being sold on a clear tile. If you come to Tucson Drive at Home, you're going to pay tax and dock fee. Dock fee is $250. Taxes are your state tax plus our city. So if you come here, you're going to pay your state tax rate plus our city of 2% plus a $250 dock fee. You pay by wire and ship. All you're going to pay is the agreed upon price, and that's it. Um, once we, If you're going to ship, once we receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name. And... We'll scan it into your online file so you'll be able to see what it looks like immediately. We'll even uh, scan in the envelope we mail it in. And then we'll hit the mail with it. And once you have it shipped to your location, wherever you are, you already have the title. You just go to Motor Vehicles and get some plates. It's very simple. All right? Deposit's $500. Once we receive your deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it is for sale. Please get your deposit in. Uh, last part of my speech is the warranty speech. There is no warranty. It's a 174,000 mile, 12 year old truck, okay? Uh, Ford bailed on it many years and many miles ago. Uh, they did so because they couldn't warranty it for 20 years and 400,000 miles. Why? Because they didn't know what would happen to it after X amount of miles or X amount of years. And we don't know more than the people who built it, although they call us all the time from Holmes Tunnel Ford down the street asking us about uh, diesel trucks. So we might actually do, we probably do know more than them. Um, we do know that this is a good motor. We know it runs great. We know it drives great today. We also know, because we know we, we own vehicles that uh, are used, that uh, they can break. And they can break any time of the day or night. All right? I can maybe not even make it to the light right now. You never know. All right? So we don't tell people they're perfect. We give them tons of information. We do the video. Carfax, Kelly Blue Book, show you the leak show you what it looks like after four days there's all i can only tell you what we know all right at the end of the day if something breaks the day you get it you're going to pay to fix it if that doesn't work for you if you think that oh if it's broken i'll call them and get a check you're not getting a check okay this is your vehicle you own it you get it fixed okay that being said uh, I would drive this to Maine right now. It's a great running truck. Uh, we say this about every vehicle uh, at the end of every video. If you watch every video, I say the same thing. I'm not singling this truck out. Uh, I just tell people the truth. We want the right person in the vehicle. We want somebody who can accept uh, its warts and its good stuff and be, be fine with it. And the fact that uh, they may have to spend some of the money they're saving from buying from us uh, on a repair in the future, right? Thing runs great yeah it really runs good really quiet no vibrations even with that box on it it uh, runs good I wish they hurry up and turn the light here that ain't gonna happen I have 15 minutes to do these videos and I'm at 14 minutes and 42 seconds oh well anyway it's a hell of a truck please check it out uh, go through the uh, video blah 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 we do have an EGR package in the ad that's advertised for 2400 it's going to go up to 2900 soon if you want that let us know all right thank you for your time